Mug Mug. Hi, Star! Someone already wished me happy birthday today, but I'll allow you to do it also. <sighs> Swamp Roar. Let's do Boar Build. All right, let's try one of my old favorites here. Oh, we gotta set up runes for this one. Um, max active and quantity of units increased by one for all skills. Uh, reduces all damage you do. Where is the, you can take the same skill multiple times. Here it is, let's get that. Mm. Where's the heal? Get that. You can make three top rinse for free. Yeah, I'm looking at that right now. So I got two available down here. All your skills have a 20% chance of applying one of the following, Burn, Bleed, Poison, or Doom. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Okay. Let's try this. Um, Let's do the caves this time. Everything. I'm ready. Look at my boars. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> my melee attack is an ethereal pink now? Did they kill rot boars? What do you mean kill rot boars? Oh wait, they apply fragility. They don't apply boars? Or they don't apply rot now? What the heck? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Rot was turned into poison. They got, did they just get rid of rot? Rot was, uh, dude, rot was my favorite. For those that don't know, rot was poison, but if the poison target died, the leftover poison would jump to another mob. Hmm, that was the main reason I liked that weapon. Change dots. What did they change? The rats did rot. Now they do poison and weakness when they die. Alright. Um let's do that. Alright, hang on a sec. Singular focus, more dudes, heal, and misfortune, more to loot. Uh, get that. Get that. Let's try this. All right, rat apocalypse with misfortune. Do you see that green line bouncing around? That really looks like rot to me. Poison just has rot effects now. 
Wait, so is poison always rot? Oh, okay, so sorry. So when, when y'all said they got rid of rot, I thought like the whole effect was gone. But it's just baseline now. That's very different. That's new. Reanimation. Increase the chance to find body parts. So I'm playing the Necromancer right now, and when he finds body parts, he can pick them up. Like this right here. And when he gets enough of them, he summons one of these big, uh, like, golems that fights for him. We need some movement speed. We are slow. Got bunnies, Chad. Wait, bunnies do disarray. Plus 10% unit modifier damage. Wait, what? What is disarray? Disarray is extra damage, 4 to 20%. Increases all damage received by a random amount between 4 and 20. More bunnies. <laughs> But you have snails. Not yet. Not doing much right now. I love that health bar getting covered in all those colors. Force of nature. Putrid hounds. Cause damage based on the number of sacks of poison on the target. Sure. All attacks then now apply doom. Ooh, almost died. The the purple reaper thing just it just constantly follows you, and if it reaches you and casts a spell, it just kills you. And it was casting it. Look at the health bar, it's gone! Ah, uh, this is already going way better than the, uh, the last build.
Okay, uh, that chain should be really good. I think the Necromancer's summon golem thing, at least the last time I played this, is one of the best innate passives. Like, the Beastmaster's occasionally track down a pack of raptors thing just does not compare to this. Unless they, unless something changed. So much faster. Honestly, that cloud of floating weapons we had on the Monkey King, if we had had that rune where it's like all your attacks have a 20% chance of doing a random negative effect, that would have been 200 plus dots easily. Chat, the paw is on my shoulder. I have disturbed his slumber. I get close enough for those rabbits to hit the boss, it just melts. Forty percent increased damage of everything summoned. Yeah, okay. I remember the Necro had something in his tree that helped him recover health. I can't remember what it is. But there's something helping me heal besides the fact that I get some health every 100 kills. Because my health just shot up, like, in three jumps. And I don't know what did it. You know, now that I know that there's passives now that affect these golems, I'm guessing there's passives for the other classes. Like, there was the uh, the gladiator guy, the, the Spartan dude. He had, like, he could collect siege components to build catapults that would help him. I'm very curious to see how his stuff is different now. I 
forget, does Bloodlust give movement speed? Yeah, it does. It does give movement speed. All right. best second monitor content raving out of the music <laughs> i have got a lot of survivors type games that i enjoy this one takes the cake for the music in the music aspect though for sure Seen ruin. It says when you you apply doom, a portion of the instant uh, damage is inflicted immediately. Yeah, he got deleted. got deleted. I want to point out to you guys that last time at the 16 minute mark, I killed uh, eight of the bosses. And this time we're at the nine minute mark and we've killed 14. That's the, uh, the difference between our two runs so far. Where's the hounds? Really? I am surprised. Hounds have done 51k. And the abomination, which is not taking up a slot on the bar, has done 40. Hounds are doing, the, the, the hounds damage, like their damage is all physical, but the damage they do is increased by how much poison's on the target. And they're, I guess they're hitting pretty hard. Sent you a Star Wars Outlaws new trailer, August 30th. Okay, so on the 30th you send me the trailer? Dumb joke. Um, I don't know anything about it. What type of game is it? RPG. RPG, like, you control one person, you control a party of people. Details. person I think it's the story trailer okay I swear to God if it's some Jedi that was hiding and they survived order 66 I'm I'm out okay that's that's it it cannot be a Jedi that survived order 66 there at this point there's more Jedi's that survived 66 than there are that died to it I think we're on the last set of bosses. He died so fast. Quite, oh my gosh, I'm getting lasered, I didn't realize. I 
Lexi the Plague Bearer. Alright, I just turned down the graphics so the game would speed back up a little bit. Oh, and it's over. Uh, what was the leave? I think this was leave instance. The blue one. The bunnies did a hundred million. Now I had bunnies twice on the bar, but that still means that even one, if they were 50 million each, they still did more than anything else. Playgrounds only did 15? Wow, that bad. And my original plan was to go all rats, but I never got more rats. Hounds did 39, I'm surprised. Gollum only did 20. And the abominations, the free summons did 40. Wow. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. Um. What else we got? The Legionnaire. Oh, he doesn't have Holy. Shoot, that messes up that plan. Hmm. I could still try. There was one build I liked with this guy. Let me see if I can do it again. Singular focus. Uh, where is, where's the misfortune thing? Misfortune. Some healing. Uh, start with weapon expert. More income. Extra rerolls. I've got one thing left. Longer dashes? Sure. Where was... Okay, hold on. What was the Necro thing that was healing me more? I'm curious now. Where is that Necro? No. There's Necro. It freaking moved it around on me. Wait, is this Necro? This is Necro. Okay. Uh... You recover up to five health points whenever you level up. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Eliminating a target has a 5% of chance of healing you for three health. Maybe that's what gave me a sudden surge of health earlier. But that's only on Necro. Okay. Alright. Uh, Alright, the thing we're going to go for is Jupiter's Spear. Okay. And then he also had the catapult thing. I'm curious to see what we find with that. All right, so we beat this map on Super Giga Insanity. Let's try Whispering Grove on Super Giga Insanity. All right, so what is it? All right, so Jupiter's spear, he throws a spear that turns into lightning and it bounces around. And he also summons the boys, which you can see there. Um... All right, so these blueprint things are for the catapults. And as we kill stuff, we occasionally find, like, parts, and we can put them there and build the catapults. Okay, hold on, how does this work? Whenever you cast a skill, consume 20 stacks of Electrify to release multiple jolts of electricity that move in random directions, doing heavy damage and applying stun. Okay. So I'll get these for now.
on guard, hit enemies around you, causing damage and applying exposed, gain bulwark and form. Bulwark increases block power, form increases crit strike chance. Flamethrower. Sharp spear. Hurls the spear in the target direction, causing damage, gain form and haste. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna keep it long term, but let's try flamethrower out. Increased chance of finding materials. Siege expert, this is new. This is the kind of thing I was curious about. I just remembered for the longest time we used to joke that that guy is singing, I hate flute. And she would get so mad. Jupiter's Spear, where you at? Wait, Spear Trap? I haven't seen that either. Skip all boss. Multicast on Jupiter's. Damage increase on Jupiter. We want more Jupiter Spears. Matt is Flute's normal state of being. <laughs> 14 out of 17 on the Siege thing. Sugar Rush. Wow, actually doing okay. Siege Expert. Got it. We have one catapult online. Look at that lightning, and I still only have one Jupiter Spear. I wanted to get a bar full of them, it just didn't happen. There we go. This was another build I enjoyed playing a lot. Just because if the enemies are, if there's enough of them, it can literally just bounce across the entire map. It's like just uber chain lightning. 